Hello, Lonnie. Welcome Hello, back. Hello, Brian. <laughs> what are we talking about today? Over oh, cocktails here. Over cocktails. We are talking about a streetcar named Desire. Mm, it's a classic. It sure is. Have you seen it before? It's been so long. No? Yeah. Um, yes, I have, but it's been a really long time, and I forgot how really powerful and moving and just really important this whole work is. I know it won the Drama Award for the Pulitzer Prize in 1948, Tennessee Williams. However, this production at Bare Bones at the New Hazlet Theater in the North Side was totally spellbinding. Uh, Tammy Dixon plays Blanche Dubois. Blanche Dubois. You have another cocktail, Yeah, Judy. really. <laughs> and she was phenomenal. Her performance was nothing less than brilliant. She was Blanche Dubois. She played her so beautifully. She showed all of the nuances of Blanche, you know, the um, sensitivity and the delusion and the deception and the kindness and the whole total insecurity about her looks and it was just really, really an amazing performance. The whole audience was just spellbound. There wasn't a movement in the audience. Mm. It was just a, a wonderful production, and her performance was really a standout. Um, and not, not to take away anything from Stanley Kowalski, who was played by Patrick Jordan, and he was just so sexy, just like <laughs> Stanley Kowalski's supposed to be. Uh -huh. And that whole brute animal magnetism just was really, really mesmerizing. It just drew you in, and I, I couldn't take my eyes off him. He was just really, really a, a strong performance of a man who had again so much going on he wasn't just a brute he was kind he loved his wife Stella who was played by Jana Johnson who's an LA actor that came in for this and she was the perfect Stella just very adoring of her husband and the way he played it and the whole oozing of testosterone and sexuality that he put out there you could see why she was so loyal to him <laughs> and why she loved him so much yeah. uh, just I thought it was really well cast and the other lead turns out that in real life it's Jeffrey Carpenter and he played Mitch who was Blanche Dubois love interest and you could just feel the love between them. And I think it was particularly effective because he is married to Tammy Dixon. Oh, uh, they played love okay. interest in the play. They're the artistic directors of Bricolage Theater yes, here in yes. Pittsburgh. And their performances were wonderful. I just, I'm really excited. I can't say enough about it. I know I'm babbling. So let's move on <laughs> now that we know. And the supporting cast was also well cast and wonderful but these four lead actors were just uh, so strong and so amazing that you know the others were were great and they just played into it but these four just had the show you know right here I had the whole audience right, right there right there right in the palm of their hands <laughs> All right. and the director melissa martin is really a very accomplished director she in fact wrote produced and directed the indie film that was so popular, The Bread, My Sweet. Oh, yes. I don't know if you knew that. Uh -huh. And so she proved herself to be a very wonderful director because this, this show was really great. And what, oh, and they did something I thought was really interesting. In between the scenes mm -hmm. and there were just slight little changes it's not like the whole set changed or anything but in between scenes Joe Grusecki played the guitar and sang and John Kresh played the piano and was also Gresh I'm mm -hmm. sorry did I say Kresh? Gresh mm -hmm. and was a vocalist too and they played 
kind of mood music that reminded you of New Orleans. That's great. And that they started out with it, walking to New Orleans. Did you know that song? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would if you heard it sung properly. <laughs> but it was really cool while the, the cast actually did the little changes, you know, clearing mm. off a table, pulling up a cover or whatever. Uh -huh. And they played and they're playing in almost every performance unless they have a previous commitment. But all the December performances, they'll be playing and if they don't, they have their music recorded that they'll play and the scene changes. And that was just a, a nice little extra touch that kept the mood going. The sure. steamy New Orleans kind of mood. I, I liked it. I enjoyed their music very much. And the set was wonderful. And my friend that I went with pointed out something. It was a really authentic set uh -huh. that looked like the 50s with the old icebox and... Uh, the old wardrobe with the veneer yeah. on, just like in my grandmother's house. That I recognize. So this that was there was no heavy concept on this. This was doing it like legitimately in the time period it was meant right. to be. To down to details that most people probably wouldn't have mentioned. That's what I said. My friend mentioned. He said, "Look at that, white horse scotch. They don't even make white horse scotch anymore, but it was a really popular scotch." in the 40s. Wow. Now how he could even see that far to read that label, <laughs> I have no idea. But they, I couldn't see. they caught every detail. Yeah, and Carling Black Label Beer, which hasn't been produced in the U.S. forever. I have to say, it's a bit, a bit before my time even. Yeah, don't you remember the commercial? Mm -mm. I can't whistle, do that. Can you do that? Mabel, Black Label, Carling Black Label Beer. You don't remember that? I'm not doubting the, <laughs> the validity of but, your But your even song. that, I mean... If, if somebody said, say something negative about this show, or die, I'd probably die. Wow, that but is, that I, is yeah. taking one for the team, man. Yeah. Best Brando, talk to me like Brando. I don't know how he talks. Oh, come on. And then what was it when he won the Oscar? He had like the Lando Lakes butter lady come up there and accept it for him. Yeah, but she was like, and she dressed... was on the box? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it was her, but a little. <laughs> 